Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and a lot of people ask if a Fresnel lens can melt soda cans. Soda cans are very, very thin, and they melt instantly with one of these. I'm gonna be showing you this lens on a soda can. I'm also gonna be showing you this lens on a thicker can and on a thicker 1 8 inch piece of aluminum. So the first thing we're gonna do is find our focal point. See that the can is actually that quick it just gets cut right in half and it's burning still it's still melted so I'm gonna adjust the uh, aperture on this So you can see what the Fresnel lens did to this can. The metal on that can is very thin, so it just takes a matter of less than 10 seconds to cut one in half. This is a thicker can. This is similar to your thicker Budweiser bottles. This is a rigid aluminum sheet, so we should be able to get a good focal point on the doll side. This is one that I tried to polish. So this is what we were able to do with the corner of this aluminum sheet. It's already solidified again. So you got to see the power of one of our level two lenses against some soda cans, drinking cans, and a sheet of aluminum. If you do this, you want to make sure that you don't actually burn the metal. The idea, there'd be no reason to really burn it. When you burn stuff like that, you create some very toxic fumes. I actually got a whiff of one and I would not recommend breathing that. You need to find the proper temperature if you're using a Fresnel lens to like recycle metal or mold stuff to melt it and not burn it. Very thin stuff burns really easily. If you noticed with the thicker aluminum sheet, it took a long time to get that going. Thicker materials dissipate the heat rapidly. The thinner material dissolves pretty quickly. So if you do take like a bunch of cans and get them to 
melt down. What you need to do is smash them, get them into a dense form before you do that. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. So you got to see the power of one of our level two lenses against aluminum.